Because an inequality does not represent one exact answer, but actually a definite set of many answers, for example, in here x could be any value greater than 3, when we try to plot an inequality with two variables, the solution is a region containing many points. For example, in graphing the inequality y is greater than x plus 4, First, we plot the boundary line by recognizing that the slope of the line is 1, the coefficient of x, and the y-intercept is 4. Here is the graph. Now we set the region using only the direction given by y. According to the example, y is greater, thus the solution area is above the line. Another example, graph the inequality x is greater than or equal to 1. Graphed in two dimensions, an inequality with only one variable is either vertical, x only, or horizontal, y only. In this case, it is vertical, passing through points, x is equal to positive 1. Notice that in this example, the line for greater than or equal is solid, and in the previous one, the line for greater than is graph dash. A solid line means that the points on the line are also part of the solution, while in the dashed line, they are not. Another example. Graph the inequality y is less than negative 3. Again, graphed in two dimensions, an inequality with only one variable is either vertical, x only, or horizontal, y only. In this case, it is horizontal, passing through point y equals negative 3. Because the y in the inequality indicates less than, the solution area is found below the dashed line. Still another example. Graph the inequality y is less than negative 1 half x plus 2. Because the inequality is already in slope-intercept form, we can read the y-intercept as 2 and the slope as negative one-half. We plot it starting at positive two. From two, down one, to the right two. And the solution is below the line. And the line is dashed because it is less than. One more example. Graph the inequality, three x plus two y is less than or equal to six. Because the inequality is not in a slope-intercept form, we first turn it into a slope-intercept form by solving for y. Subtract 3x from both sides. Divide by 2 both sides. The y-intercept is 3 and the slope is negative 3 over 2. Because y in the inequality is less than or equal to, the area is under the line and the line is solid. 